The debate continues over coffee. Some doctors say too much Java can lead to insomnia, headaches, and even heart problems. But wait a second, ATV's Laverne Stewart is in Fredericton. Laverne, there's a new study out about coffee that says uh, it's not all that bad. Well, that's right, Nancy. And California researchers say that people who drink coffee are far less likely to commit suicide than non-coffee drinkers. The people I spoke with today say it really is a stress reliever. Who stirred coffee beans from the coffee jar? For some people, this brown brew is the elixir of life. Coffee. I love coffee. Java. Oh, it just puts the glide in my stride, puts the swing in my step. It makes my taste buds tingle. And oh, I, I get a real kick out. It's that kick that many people need to get going. Not to have had it, I feel satisfied. You know, are you grouchy in the morning? No. Yes. <laughs> she is grouchy in the morning? She's really grouchy in the morning until after the first cup. After the first cup of coffee, she feels better. Yes, that's right. And then you feel better. I definitely feel better at that stage. <laughs> Researchers in California say coffee drinkers are less likely to kill themselves than non-coffee drinkers. This is good news for us coffee drinkers, but doctors say there's no conclusive evidence for this study. The little I know of that new study is just uh, shows an association in those rates. It's not a causal uh, factor at all. Dr. Brian McKinnon says too much coffee can lead to problems. The biggest things I would see are more insomnia, headaches, <coughs> and anxiety and nervousness. Um, so in fact, I probably see more psychological problems in big coffee drinkers than in people who don't drink coffee. So I drink at least two cups a day. At least two? What's your maximum? Well, I, uh, when I had a cold, I drank five cappuccinos in a row. <laughs> did it make the cold go away? Yes, it did. Now we should remember that there's no real cure for the common cold, but back on the subject of coffee, small to moderate amounts are shown to be stress relievers, so it might be a good thing to fill up your mug with coffee. And Laverne, here's a personal question. How many times a day do you fill up your mug with coffee? Do you drink a lot of it? Well, Nancy, uh, about two or three cups a day, but uh, you know as well as I do that in the news department, everybody seems <laughs> to drink coffee. And if it's a stress reliever and it avoids people from committing suicide, well, maybe uh, we're good examples. And I've just recently switched to tea. Can you tell me anything about that? <laughs> well, there, there actually is a lot of caffeine in the tea leaves, but it doesn't transfer over to your teacup when you drink tea, so you're not ingesting as much caffeine. So maybe we should switch over to tea if we're worried about too much caffeine. Dr. Laverne Stewart, thank you very much. Okay, Thanks, Nancy. Laverne.